Hey y'all, I made a couple journals and so I just kind of wanted to do a quick flip through of them and um, kind of show you what all got put in there and all the fun things. So I'm going to move this guy out of the way here. Our girl, I don't know. <laughs> um, so this one, yeah, it's one signature and I, as I was putting it together, I was like, oh my gosh, I could give this to my mom. Now she's not a big... She's not a big journaler, but I was like, she would love these bright, happy colors. Let me show you in a second why I'm not going to give it to my mom. <laughs> All right, so we have a pocket or two on the inside cover. And I just sewed this little bit. This was like in the scrapbook paper. So it was like a scrapbook paper pad. And then like at the top where, um, where you tear it off like this, they had some stuff on the top. And I was like, I can't waste those. And this little card, and I sewed that on to make a tuck spot. This is <laughs> this is a piece of paper. It's like um, ooh, not topographical, but like I don't know where they're mapping out, y'all. Words are not. I don't where they map out the survey, the survey <laughs> of some land here in the area. I actually got this from from our city hall because I have bought a piece of art from the gallery and um, she was like, do you want it wrapped up? And at first I was like, no. And then she's like, oh, I have some old papers. And I saw what they were and I was like, yes, give me the papers. <laughs> I have like five sheets of this stuff. I love it. Anyway, um, there's lots of room for writing in here. I made a little pocket here, y'all. This is that um, printer paper, you know, when it used to, like, get drug along the sides with those cog wheels. Yeah, this was an old report card of mine, so that <clears throat> tells you how old I am. It's fine. All right, we got another little pocket here, some kindergarten paper. Can't go wrong with that. And another little tuck spot. I haven't filled in all the pockets. I don't like to fill in all the pockets because I like to leave them open for me or whoever to do what they want, put what they want in the pockets. You know what I mean? I love this square. Like that's going to be so useful. Uh, yeah. So more pockets and tuck spots. This one's actually a little book situation. What? All right. Another tuck spot over here. And this is the middle spread. I love it so much. Like that's so cool. Now you're going to see why I'm not going to give it to my mother. Mm hmm Who sewed that on upside down? Oh, it was me. <laughs> it was meant to go across the top here. So it just would say good times at the top and you're going to write underneath that. Because like, I don't know. So like I said, my mom's not a big journaler, but she likes to write down her Bible verses and things like that. So I thought maybe she could use it. It's very bright and all the things. And then I did this. Although it would be completely me to have that in there for her. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see y'all. We shall see. She would love it. So another pocket here. I like all the grid spaces. Um, so just make a good background, right? To put some, a photo here and writing there. Uh, yeah. So now we're on the back side of everything. Still got our pockets. Uh, another reason I'm considering not giving this to my mom is that this piece actually sewed in kind of crooked. Or like I stitched it in kind of crooked, so I had to like crunch it to make it straight. And it's still not even straight. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. But I do have a little pocket there. Oh, ooh, look at that. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Do you like this? So this is the back of that owl card. And um, I only sewed on the top because this gets really thick here. But it's a little pocket. A little tag. And then I did put, oh man, I love this thing. It says, put your spin on it. And it's a little, um, wait for it. <laughs> I don't know how to open it. <laughs> it's a little envelope and there's actually two pockets in here. I was trying to sew it on and then I was like, no, that's too thick. That's what she said. So, um, yeah, so it just got tucked right back in here. So that's that guy, the back cover. I just love, love the paper and the silver. This twine's got silver in it. So, um, so let's take a look at the other one that I made real quick. Uh, this one does have two uh, 
bless it, two signatures. Because I wanted to make it one, but then I was like, I don't have a cover. So it just put, I mean, like basically made two journals and put them together. And I, and I bound them together with this almost made me murder somebody or chuck it out the window because it was just, <laughs> it was not fun. So I'm like, okay, note to self, not doing that ever again. <laughs> but it's super, this is like one of my favorite papers. This one I don't think has as much sewing in it. Um, I just wanted to keep this one simple. This is a bag from the, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, a lady I used to work with bought me something there and this was the bag it came in. I've kept it forever. I'd finally use it. Uh, this is some old school scrapbook paper. You can see I should have covered that up. Maybe a pocket at the bottom should have happened there, but <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> okay, and this is a an envelope from St. Jude's, right? So I donate to St. Jude's a little bit as I can, and so they always send me stuff, and this envelope was too pretty. We've got some vellum. I love the script on here. The vellum. Uh, more of this survey paper. This one's kind of like, it's like kind of nice, but like little bits of randomness, like, oh, I don't know, unicorns. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep this like a little fun, but a little, a little formal. Here is a uh, paper from the Ponte Vedra Inn. Y'all know how like the hotels always leave those like notepads of paper and pens in the room. So that's where that came from. I don't know if they leave the big sheets in the room. So we had a conference there. So that was from the conference. Oh. Coffee break. Um, <laughs> this tissue paper is from my daughter got an LOL doll. And this is like some of the tissue paper that was packed, like packing some of the pieces. And I was like, Ooh, I need that. <laughs> this y'all. Look at it. So my aunt is from Taiwan and she had these, um, she had these journals. This one's a math, like a math workbook. Let's see if I can find it. Um, that my cousin Joey would work in. Now he's like, he's like 20 years younger than me. So we'll just throw that out there. So he's closer to my son's age. Um, but she gave me, so she gave me, um, uh, this one. Uh, for Malachi to for Malachi to work in, and I am in love. Ooh, I have more envelopes. <gasps> Yay! Uh, but I'm in love. Like I love the pictures and the the writing and all the things. So, yep. Yeah, so I tossed it in this one. Super fun. So cute. And this is just like the backside of everything, right? I did make a pocket here. Uh, I cut it. I cut this one really large. Like so. This is like six by nine um because I wanted it to be as big as possible so if I use 12 by 12 scrapbook paper this is like I guess I could go six by 12 but that'd be a little ridiculous so I just did six by nine <laughs> isn't it nine hold on where's my ruler mm, wah, wah. or my ruler anyway I think it's nine I think it's nine so this one is a little more colorful there are places to to write but this one would be more for it's the back of the envelope. Look how cute it is. So this one might be more for putting pictures in, memory keeping. Um, and did cut the bottom of the bag. Look, the mint. I cut the bottom of the bag, so it's still open so you can put stuff in there. So Donna's signature number one. These are a little bit, a little bit loose to give some room once you start adding stuff that get a little chunky. Here, I used another sheet of this because it's so amazing. Here's an envelope. And I did so a pocket here. And I love these little owls on the bottom. This was this was at um Sassafras last brand, and it's like was my favorite when I was younger. Like a favorite brand. <gasps> Look how cool this turned out. Yes. Alright, here's another hotel. This is from the Kempton in Santa Barbara. I love the, I love this double-sided paper. More Ponte Vedra tissue paper just for interest. Like you can't put anything on this because it's so thin, but it just adds some interest to the uh, to the pages. Here's another book from the Hard Rock. A book. Yeah. 
bag from her drawer. So um, just kind of put stuff in there. Here's some more vellum. I love how you can see the magazine page through that side. And it's nice and open. And then I just left this one as the centerpiece here. Centerpiece, center spread. Or vellum, you can see her through the back. That's cool. Same thing here. I cut the bottom of the bag so you can put stuff in there. And yeah, more flipping here on the back side. All the things. Yeah. And then this. And I like the, you can see through the envelope window. So cool. Important. Please open immediately. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So that's that one as well. Uh, just having some fun, putting some things together. Um, Y'all let me know if you have any questions um, on these and we'll see you next time. Bye.